Hey there, good morning and welcome to the vlog. So today we are gonna share our day in the life. The kids are off to school. I've already gotten some work done here on the house. I'm taking a little break, but we are kind of battening down the hatches and waited for some of the side effects to head our direction off of Ida. We're not in like the direct path or anything, but we are in the north part of Alabama. So the southern part is in a state of emergency because it was directly one of the places hit. But in the north part, we kind of just get the residual effects, which usually just ends up being a lot of storms. We sometimes have like threaded tornadoes and stuff like that. But overall, it's obviously a lot different than when it hits the southern part of the state. It's one of those really long states. So our weather really differs from the top of the state to the bottom state. Anyhow. Um, I still don't know if we'll have school tomorrow because sometimes when there's threat of severe weather, they'll cancel school, but we haven't heard yet, so we'll see. But I'm just hanging out today, getting some stuff done around the house. I thought I'd take you along for my day and what I do when I'm kind of working at home. Um, so today's a more working at home day for me. The kids have regular school right now. <laughs> there are schools in our system starting to have to go virtual. Our two kids' schools are still going in person, but we're kind of expecting just personally that they probably not too long after Labor Day will have to go virtual at least for a little while. Um, so, you know, it's still kind of a struggle with COVID here in our area, of, well, the whole state of Alabama to be honest, but in our area of Alabama and it's just still getting worse. Um, so we had our first school in our district go virtual and I would imagine if I had to guess which school would maybe go first out of the middle school and elementary school. The middle school seems to be having a worse time right now than the elementary school. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Um, but anyhow, uh, because typically Natalie picks up everything that she's around, so I'm really hoping it doesn't go in her room. But um, yeah, we'll just have to take it as it comes and deal with it. Um, so they get home um, around like... 3.30, Natalie does an after school thing where we can go pick her up between 4 and 4.30. So that gives us a little bit of extra cushion time um, to get things done around the house. And Isabel's riding the bus for the first time this year and she absolutely loves it. So I'm really thankful that she is enjoying middle school and is enjoying that experience because I think that really helps when like, she's excited to go to middle school and she's loving band and all of that. So it's all good things. So um, I'm gonna finish up some work, get some things done around the house, and take you along for my day here working at home. I was just looking at the video behind me and I have all of these sweaters that I shared a sweater video here on YouTube as well, but I also did single reviews to put on Amazon and I need to get these in my closet now. So I think I'll put that on my list of things to do today so they're not just sitting there hanging on my bookcase. And I have found another bookcase that I really like um, for the living room area. So I'm thinking about ordering that, but this bookcase has been working out perfect. I know you can kind of just see it peeking out of the corner of my videos because this is kind of like my background area, but this has been working out great because I actually found these boxes at Home Goods that I store all my little accessory things in and I was able to put some of my decor items displayed up there. And I got these ear holders from Etsy, which have been working out great. And then down here, I got all of these baskets. This is the part I don't know if I've ever shown. I got all of these baskets from Target, or I just already had them on hand. And these larger ones fit the lounge fly bags perfectly. So I've got those down there. I've got all my little Disney accessories over here. And then I just put my Oculus in that one. So those have been working out perfectly just for extra storage that's really accessible. It's right here just to like the left of my desk. And so um, the shelf has been a great addition for the room. And I just, I think it makes like behind me, well, when those are hanging up there, right? I think it makes behind me a little bit more interesting because you can kind of see just a little bit of the decorations over here, just, just peeking out a little bit. I need to do something with this. Um, I think I'll probably decorate it for fall, so I'll change all that out so it'll have something a little bit more fun than just what's been back there all summer long. Um, but I have been using the Scentsy Go in my office actually more than my warmer um, just because it puts off less light and it's just easier to turn it off and on so it's not charged right now. But if you can just hit the button and it turns it off and on and I just have a little pod in there and it just charges with a USB so I can just plug it into my computer black raspberry vanilla and these are easy to change out so I keep this in my car I keep a little travel one in my car and I've been using this actually more than anything around the house 
This is literally the phone call canceling all the after school activities. So I was literally just talking about that. So anyhow, just got the phone call and all their after school activities are canceled because of the threat of inclement weather. I was literally just saying that in the video and then I got, no joke, a phone call like two minutes later. So um, I'll be picking up Natalie because <laughs> she's not going to have any after school activities. Um, and it sounds like the buses will still be running, so Isabella can still get do that. So that is what our day is gonna look like. I'm so excited, so a whole bunch of goodies just arrived. I cannot wait to test all of these out. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek, but there's gonna be a ton of fun make it videos coming up very soon. Let me show you why. So there is this fun thing over here. I'm so excited. There's all kinds of surprise goodies in here. There is a heat press down there. I am going to make everything. I am so excited. So I've got an online meeting. I'm gonna hop on real quick and then it will be lunchtime. And today's gonna go super quick since the time that the kids have to get picked up now just got backed up by a couple hours. So um, it's gonna be a quick lunch today. Okay, I'm gonna go get a little something for lunch. I remember what we even have in here. We did go grocery shopping yesterday, which I think I shared the grocery haul. So you probably know better than I do at this point. I haven't made this in a while. I got this to do the mozzarella tomato salad where you put the balsamic vinaigrette over it and it's really, really good. So I think I may have some of this for he lunch. He went here and he's ready for lunch as well. <laughs> so this is an altered caprese salad when you do not have full-size tomatoes and you just opt to use what you have left over for cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes instead. So I just have some balsamic vinegar. If you've never tried this, I also do like a cut up like mozzarella cube salad where you put the seasoning in and put the um, vinegar over. Oh, it's so good. So anyhow, I'm just gonna have a little bit of this for lunch and then get back to work for a bit before it's gonna be time to go pick up. No, I got to Carline almost 30 minutes early and it's still like all the way down. I don't know how to describe this, but it's about half full and the whole school basically has to get through this because there's no after school activities. The buses are still running, so all the bus children will still ride the buses. But anyone that was normally doing some sort of other after school something is now going home. So there's going to be a lot of cars in this. So that's why I showed up early and now I'm kind of wishing I would have got here even a few minutes early, but that's all right. Um, so it's not storming or anything here yet, but I do think it's supposed to start coming through later this evening. So, um, we'll see. I mean, I think it's pretty much going to be rain and wind. It's, sometimes there's like a threat of tornadoes. So my husband thought they may cancel school tomorrow. So we'll have so to since see. we have a little bit of an unexpected car line chat here, I didn't intend on doing a car line chat because I didn't plan on being in car line today, but here we are. Um, how is your school year going? Have you started school yet? Are you feeling pretty good about it? Are you started? I already know some people have had to go to virtual, like not just in our area, but in other areas of the Southeast that I have um, some friends that they've already had to go to virtual. So it seems like it's gonna be another crazy school year. And for us, it's even more stressful than last year because once we were virtual, it felt very abnormal. You know, because it wasn't like our normal routine and it wasn't normal for everyone to be home all the time. But we got into a very comfortable routine and it wasn't stressful. Like we actually all enjoyed being around each other. I know for some families it may be stressful, but we actually enjoyed all the time together and that was really, really nice. And so it was not stressful at all last year. So this year we have the added stress of like, we're getting these emails and it's like, is it gonna be us? Is our time up? Like. That stress is definitely unusual, and I know a lot of people experienced that last year, because if you went to school last year, you had to deal with that whole thing last year. Like, are we gonna get quarantined? Is it our turn? And so it's very stressful, because like this year I had planned on being able, and of course, I'm vaccinated, so it wouldn't necessarily be a one-to-one -one comparison, but if my kids were sick, I wouldn't want to go off on a trip. Oh, I mean, it's just like, you know, mother's worst nightmare scenarios right now. So like, um, I have the trip coming up at the end of September where I'm supposed to be going to Disney World to cover all the stuff with the 50th and I'm traveling that one alone and then I'm supposed to be going to Chicago in November and at some point I would like to go up to my mom's house again and she doesn't live around Chicago so that's like a separate trip 
so going to her house is always a separate trip and um, so but it's like we're back in that same stressful situation of even though they're all vaccinated I don't want to bring anything because we're having more of a problem down here than they're having up in Illinois so uh, it is not something I ever thought I'd be vlogging about I do not know why there is someone walking in car line I've never seen that happen before but there's someone walking down the middle of car line <laughs> At least we're not going to be moving anytime soon. Of course, someone's probably sitting in their car going, I don't know why that lady is talking to her camera right now, but I have never seen that in car line. So, you know, to each their own, to each their own, right? Um, but anyhow, I hope you're having a good start to your school year. Let me know what you're excited about for this year. Do you have upcoming travel? Are you excited about the kids being back in school? Are you excited about the holidays coming up? I'm super excited about that. I'm ready to do some decorating. I think that's going to be big on the agenda for next week, um, possibly next weekend. I want to start busting out the fall stuff and get decorating. I am so ready for it. It just makes me happy to look around the house and see all of the holiday, or in this instance, fall decorations and just kind of get the warm fuzzies as I look at everything. Sometimes things have stories associated with them. I remember picking it out and this and that and the next thing. So um, I'm just very much looking forward to being able to put all the fall stuff out. It should be good. Um, but other than that, I feel like, you know, because we're at home so much with COVID and I have been able to kind of share like our escapades a little bit here and there. And other than like the travel, I feel like we're just basically at home. So it's been interesting with the videos because I know that a lot of things around the house are very interesting for people to see. People love grocery hauls. People love watching you clean. People love watching like your household structure and just looking at how you do things at your house because if it's different from how they do things or the same, that's just inherently interesting. So I know all this um, and I could be doing more of that, I know. But it's just interesting because the things that I'm used to sharing are more outward focused is not as much focused around our house. It's more like what we're going out to go do, what we're gonna go out to go see, what we thought about these things. And so for me, COVID's been kind of an awkward situation because it's like, okay, well, what do I want to share? What do I share now? It seems like we're just doing the same things at home. So is that really that interesting? And so it definitely, and I've talked about this in other videos, really kind of shook up like what my plan was because I was planning on going into like almost all travel and COVID completely wiped that out. So I've been trying to figure out, you know, cause I have a couple other channels. Some of them have been dormant for a while and some of them have videos on them that just sit there and rack up views. Um, like some of them have like a bunch of my wreath videos on there and stuff like that. But, so I'm trying to figure out how to consolidate all of this so it's manageable for me, figure out what I want to focus on. I do want to do more travel videos like long term it's just not possible to do it in the way that I had envisioned previously that it was going to work out with me popping to all these new cities and you know I was just really excited about that idea and it just is not going to work the same right now because of COVID but it doesn't mean it couldn't work that way in the future so it's definitely been interesting trying to figure out that portion and then just a little bit more about what I'm doing I because I do all the stuff at work which is a nonprofit so I'm getting to work in that world and learn that whole thing which is really fun and interesting um, and then of course I've done the YouTube stuff forever but then I've also started doing videos on Amazon which I really enjoy and have been a really great asset to start doing um, so just I'm trying to figure out like take a step back and look at how everything fits together and just really try to make sure that I'm maximizing the time that I spend on things to make sure I'm enjoying what I'm doing and and all of that so I think that was a really long one way of saying let me know if you have any video requests please don't say grocery haul for all of them because like I said in that video the other day I just really don't enjoy editing those I do want to be doing more travel oriented stuff coming up when it is a little bit more feasible um, to be doing that more often um, but if you want to see anything around the house let me know what that is um, I'll be sharing all the decorating because I normally share that anyways uh, but you know I'm always happy to kind of share those things and 
and share what we're doing um, just to hopefully give you some ideas because we do some things abnormally that I didn't even know we did abnormally like I put each person's laundry in one person at a time I don't put everyone's laundry together and then have to resort it back out so there's just some things that we do like that that I just you know can share to maybe be helpful or whatever but I am gonna be sharing tons of craft stuff too I was actually looking at shirts on jiffyshirts.com they just sell like the blank shirts so I'm looking at those to order some things so I can just start heat pressing and doing all kinds of stuff for my upcoming trip I am super excited about that uh, so there's gonna be lots of new magical items at my house once I figure out how to use the Cricut <laughs> it's gonna be great um, but anyhow, I have like 10 more minutes to wait on Natalie, and then we're going to head home for a little bit, and then I have a doctor's appointment this afternoon, and then it'll be time for dinner and that whole thing again tonight. So I dropped Natalie off the house real quick after I picked her up from Carline, and then immediately turned around and left, and I had to go run out to a doctor's appointment I already had scheduled today before all of the impending leftover hurricane craziness. So I went to that um, appointment. This is one of my annual appointments, trying to keep up with all of that, with all of the COVID craziness going on. Um, so trying to make sure I do all those kind of yearly things that you're supposed to do. And now I'm gonna head home and get dinner sorted out. I'm sure the girls are gonna be super excited that there is no school tomorrow because of severe weather, potential severe weather. Um, so we'll see what it brings. But typically by the time it gets up in our area, um, we get the tail end of some of the hurricanes that come in through the Gulf. And it typically is just like a lot of rain, a lot of wind, but just out, what they say is out of an abundance of caution, um, they don't want the kids standing out waiting for buses and things like that, so it's understandable. So no school tomorrow. I'm sure the girls are gonna be super thrilled and uh, we'll just kind of take that as it comes. But I'm gonna go home and see what we're gonna make for dinner. I didn't exactly have a plan um, quite yet, so probably something quick. And right by the hospital, you can hear all the ambulances coming this direction. So I'm stopping to get gas on the way home and this is a different gas station that I normally go to, but I thought it was cool that they have these like gas gloves here. This is the first one I've seen. So I'm home. I'm gonna go make tuna casserole. Natalie's singing karaoke upstairs. So cute. Okay, so we're gonna preheat the oven to 400. I'm gonna get my casserole. So I'm gonna do a modified tuna casserole um, just with some tuna and some egg noodles. And I'm just gonna put a touch of this in for the taste, but primarily use this dairy-free half and half as the base with some breadcrumbs and peas and mix it all together and then put this in the oven for a bit. My helper is down here. Now Dan and Natalie are both up there singing karaoke. Okay, so I'm going to put some egg noodles in. I'm trying to measure, but I'm also trying to film and I don't feel like going to go get the tripod. So this is what we're doing. We're approximating about two cups here and then some extra because everyone loves noodles. So really, why do you even measure? Then I'm gonna put a little bit of these breadcrumbs and then we're gonna mix it all around and pop it in the oven here for a bit. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes and then this will be done. I'm gonna get this dished out into bowls and it will be dinner time. And some of the noodles got a little crispy on top, but this is the dairy-free tuna casserole version. That's it for our vlog today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.